This morning, we are launching a new series called Pay Attention. We'll be looking at the role technology plays in our lives in a different way, its impact on our ability to focus, and how we can recapture our attention from the technology that distracts us. The average American spends five hours a day on mobile devices. That's 76 full days a year. For some, that's wonderful. We learn, we make human connections, and experience wonder. But devices also shred our ability to focus. So what do we need to do to keep this balance? To start our process, we wanted to establish a baseline. So our cameras followed me home to document a typical Saturday where I use my phone and computer. And the second Saturday, which is not typical at all, where I use no technology. By the end of our series, we hope to find the happy medium between the two. My first interaction with mankind, with any other sentient life, was with my phone. So now I'm opening Clear Tune, which allows me to tune my guitar. Today I have a big piece of writing to do, uh, so I need to find some time to be focused. After about 45 minutes, the normal itchiness of writing or of working, you can escape from those by, well, let's just check in with the email. Detour leads to detour leads to detour, and then suddenly you're in Albuquerque. Then there's that digital siren call. The interruption online, you can go off down a rabbit hole that tells you, and here I'm now getting another. Oh, now this thing has gone off again. Oh, did you hear that? Come on. Come on, George. Let's go for a walk. Come on. A notification on your phone, or even the anticipation of one, releases dopamine. Somebody liked an Instagram photo. The chemical responsible for controlling the brain's reward and pleasure centers. If you take 24 hours in a day, and let's say that I'm sleeping eight hours a day, that leaves 16 hours. My phone has just interrupted me with a text. So we keep coming back for more. On this Saturday, I picked up the phone 86 times, using it for more than four hours. That's in addition to a few hours on the computer. Again. Come on in. There it is, by itself, in digital timeout for the whole day, my phone. I cannot touch it. It's 10.20 in the morning. I've wanted to send these messages or check things. This is probably about, as I'm about, about a dozen times. The idea behind this is no devices in here at all. Dr. Michael Baim so runs the mindfulness time. program at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm a big proponent of mindfulness for things like this because mindfulness is really a process that trains your attention to be more stable. He says when our attention is wobbly, we no longer make a choice to stay focused. We automatically pick up our phones. Today I've gone without technology and increasingly over the course of the day I've had this hunted feeling, this itchy <laughs> feeling. What's happening to me? You're stepping in the way of a habit. It's hard. The thing that devices take from us is the ability to have a full, complete focus. So when attention is drawn here and there over and over again, it becomes fragmented. And our experience of the whole world becomes fragmented in that same way. 